my first year down here at Mother's Beach, and I believe it's a two-mile jaunt, and they will start at 11. Right now, people are milling around and getting registered, and um, there are a lot of people who have been here for several years in a row. We have a lot of um, dogs here who are alumni of the shelter, so we're going to get a photo of them later. And um, people seem to be having a good time. Oh, well, that was a fun event. Strut your mutt on Mother's Beach. It certainly was. It was a great turnout. And um, even on a rainy day, it started coming down pretty hard at certain times. And a lot of dedicated walkers there. Mm -hmm. And you walked how far? It was about two miles. Mm -hmm. the, whole, um, the whole jaunt was about two miles. And uh, certain people might choose to walk a shorter distance. It really depends on them and their dog. Um, sometimes you've got the four-legged dogs and sometimes you'll see a three-legged dog here and uh -huh. there so and and the elderly dogs might not want to walk as far so people can choose how far they want to walk really well today we're here with Carolyn McKinnon and she's taken a little bit of time from her day to come in and say hello and how long have you been at the Animal Welfare Society down in West Kennebunk not very long I uh, began work um, about three months ago now and it's been a really great, fun experience. Uh, sure, a lot of hard work at the same time, but um, getting a lot of work done and learning a lot. You have had to learn a lot in a trial by fire kind of situation. I don't think when you were taken on three months ago that you would have anticipated having to deal with a puppy mill. Yeah, that's right, Patrick. We were um, informed Oh, let's see, I think we're in our 30th day now, 30 days ago, that from the uh, Department of, I should say, the Animal Welfare Program, which is part of the Department of Agriculture, that we may uh, need to assist with the care of uh, seized dogs from a puppy mill, if indeed the, the seizure ever took place. And in fact, it did on the 21st of August. Since then, the Animal Welfare Society, along with the Animal Refuge League in Westbrook, have been taking the lead in the care of these animals, making sure that they're um, exercised and uh, fed and watered and cleaned and treated with the respect that they deserve. And uh, when uh, the raid took place, and this was in, in the planning stages for some time, what exactly did you find there? Well, uh, what were some of the conditions they had? Yeah, Giardia is one of them. Um, what is Giardia? Giardia? Is that intestinal? Although not a, a veterinarian, it is a, a parasite, and it can manifest itself with diarrhea and blood in, in the diarrhea. Mm -hmm. And it is a zoonotic disease, which means that it can be transferred from the animal to humans. Very important to know. And also from, of course, animal to animal. <clears throat> and so it's, it's very contagious. And as is uh, sarcoptic mange, which is another thing that we cro that cropped up there. Uh, sarcoptic mange, which in humans would manifest itself as scabies. So, <coughs> and that too would be transferable to that humans. That's another zoonotic disease. Yes, puppy mill is a place where the animals' needs, their welfare, is placed below the uh, importance of profit making. Basically, the Animal Welfare Society and its staff and volunteers are supporting agency to this whole action. Uh, we are here, again, primarily to take care of the animals. Uh, the state of Maine and Buxton Police are, are, are the folks that are involved with prosecution and, and enforcement issues relative to the state law. Uh, ours is really simple. It's the day-to-day -day care and medical care of these animals. These puppy mills will <clears throat> do a lot of their business online. and. Um, I always like to remind people that they really need to be careful when they're thinking about bringing a, a pup into their family, that they really need to do a lot of research. Um, they may unknowingly be um, purchasing an animal that came from a puppy mill and therefore helping to perpetuate their business. So do your research. Um, you know, I think a lot of people who probably purchased from this particular puppy mill um, were unaware that so many breeds were in there. Um, they had several different websites and um, this is just the nature of what a puppy mill is. They, they try to hide what they're doing 
And so that's why it's important that people really do their research. Look behind the curtain, so to speak. Mm -hmm. yep. uh, I think that uh, most people, I mean myself, if I uh, want to pass, and I'll go to the, the shelter, basically. Yeah, but that's what I would encourage people to do first. Um, if they are in the market for a particular breed, um, please check your local shelters because uh, a lot of people don't know that. A, a good percentage of the population at uh, the Animal Welfare Society as well as the Animal Refuge League are purebreds. Now whether or not we have that purebred puppy for you on that particular day or week or month that you want in your family is, um, you know, we don't know that for certain, but we can also um, put you in touch with particular breed rescues that you can check. And then also I like to impress upon people that there are indeed many reputable breeders within the state of Maine. Um, so again, you need to do your research ahead of time in order to know who is reputable and who is not. There is no set list uh, where you can say this is a puppy mill and this is not. In fact, making a list up could be dangerous because people will think, well, if this one's not on the list, then they're not a puppy mill, which is not the case. You just mm -hmm. you need to research everyone. Someone that was new to this, uh, kind of difficult. You know, we have a, mm -hmm. uh, a well-known magazine called Consumer Reports. If yeah. you want to go out and get a washing machine, they'll tell you, you know, what's, right. what a reputable yeah. brand is. But we don't have a Consumer Reports for animals. That's a, a good point. Um, I would, you know, off the top of my head, I would think that perhaps you, you could first start off by asking for references. Ask um, local veterinarians. Ask your, even your local shelter. Um, ask people who uh, you know have had a good experience with an animal who they brought into their household and family. I think those are good starting points. I think it's really important to note that uh, Maine and New England are blessed with many, many responsible breeders. And, and this should not be uh, a situation that one would judge a responsible breeder. That's an entirely different matter. This is not a uh, this is a very atypical situation. This is indeed a puppy mill as opposed to a responsible breeding situation. Obviously shelters have some great animals, but if they prefer to have a purebred, there are many, many cases where there are great breeders out there that can be found and they can have a, a wonderful pet come into their home. I think that uh, what really took me uh, aback when I went to this site on the Pawsack Road was uh, the enormity of the operation. Mm. Uh, there was a uh, a vehicle from York County Emergency Services. When did you first hear about uh, this situation and how long have you been here? Uh, we actually brought the unit in, started uh, yesterday, but we've been working with them uh, from the time that they started this and started coordinating it. What did you encounter when you first got here? Uh, well, basically I didn't get too far beyond here, so uh, we just encountered a large event uh, with uh, a number of animals that needed to be taken care of and our mission was try to resource uh, what they what they had to have from trailers to tents to dog food. Okay, so this is being treated um, basically as a, a calamity of sorts. Uh, well, it's been, it's incident management is any kind of an event that you have and it's a method that you can manage a large event uh, and it breaks it down with an incident commander and at various different levels uh, so that one person isn't trying to, to do everything. 